Hey, by the way, you see that guy right there with a hat? He comes at West Park. But in 1970, Ken Watkins was the coxswain of a Lakeport port crew that Alfie rode against. And I looked at Ken Watkins, and he was sitting in the coxswain seat, and he was about as tall as he is now. <laughs> but he was smarter. A little <laughs> so we were all on the that, that, that's the side point. But, you know, I'll never forget that image, Kenny. I think you guys actually came second. No, we came third. I was in the B boat. <laughs> the A boat came second. And you were third? Uh, actually, Lauren Park nipped us by about a foot. But I remember you being in that race. I saw, I saw you know, but I saw Tokyo catch the crab. Not Tokyo. <laughs> Claudio. Claudio catch the crab, and he must have flown about. Uh, I always say it's 12 feet above the coxie, and landed 25 feet behind the boat. They were so, you guys were, I'm going to say, three lengths open out front when he caught that crab, and that was about the 800 meter mark. And um, they finished, still open water ahead with seven guys, but at the time, you had to finish, you had to finish with all the guys in your crew. And so they were disqualified from even rowing in the in the final here. So uh, that always was an interesting thing in in my repertoire of coaching. The second the second thing that was very very interesting was Rudy and me were at a coaches conference in 1979 in East Germany, and there was a knock on the door, and it was Rudy. And I had decided that I wasn't going to coach that year. And he came in. He says, what do you mean you're not going to coach this year? And I says, well, you know, I've got to finish my studies, blah, 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 blah. He says, you can still finish your studies and still coach. So I finished my studies and I still coach. <laughs> <laughs> so I always, I always say that. Probably the only reason I continued coaching after that was that being in East Germany in 1979 and him knocking on the door and I thought it was to just stop him coming. <laughs> and in one sense or another, I guess it was. <laughs> but after a while, then you were hoping it was a good stop. <laughs> I got another and coach, my son, who was first Henley Gold when he was a junior. And I have to thank for that. Only, Ken was a very good coach, a student of the game and everything else. The only thing I really I thought was unique about Ken was we rode in the morning, and then we had to get the kids to school. And I was always, you know, let's get to school, let's get to school, because the principals and the vice principals and the secretaries would be saying, that kid wasn't on time, or whatever the case might be. And so Kenny Wachlich, he he, did, he never finished coaching on the water, he finished coaching in the bay. And he'd like to deliver little soliloquies <laughs> after he was finished coaching. And I'd be standing there, listening and waiting and listening and waiting. And finally, and one day I said, Kenny, uh, the kids aren't coming in today. He said, what do you mean? I sent them all home. And I, I said, You've got to remember that the kids have to get to class on time as well. And so try to get your coaching done there. And, and you know, Kenny, listen, he did a, he, and he understood that. That was important. And that's part of everything that we do here. You know, we grow. But we're still growing. West Park is not, please believe this when I tell you this, West Park isn't done. Not in your heart. It never will be. I've heard so many wonderful stories today of things that, you know, things that you've done. How many champions do we have in this room? Not gold medal champions, champion human beings. Okay? Every one of you is there. Okay? I keep telling you, it's in you. Everybody wants to be a champion. You just have to believe it. I, I, a long time ago, there was a coach for Canada at the national team level, and I met him in 84. And he coached Canadian men's basketball team. His name was Jack Ramsey. And he had a motto. And I picked it up and I've used it for the rest of my life. You can fly if you try. But if you don't try, you'll never know. 
That was his motto. You can fly if you try. So all of you, keep trying because you can fly. Good luck.